there. So let us start with our next programming that will go with creating a web server. Now, this is very important part of learning Node MCU. So in this part, we will just learn how a server works and how we will create a web server. So in this, we will first know, uh, we will want our Node MCU and the conditions are same. We want to switch on the hotspot of the smartphone and we will just switch on the Wi-Fi of the Node MCU and we'll connect first and then we'll operate or create a server. So let us first know what server actually means. So for example, let us take a smartphone over here. So when we take a smartphone and switch on the hotspot, it has a range. It has a range. So when we connect our smartphone with the Wi-Fi of the Node MCU, hotspot of the smartphone with the Wi-Fi of the Node MCU, then it starts connection, connection, connection. And when it gets connected, then we are in the range of the server created by the smartphone. So over here, the smartphone is a server. The hotspot generated device is a server. That is a smartphone is a server. And the client that is a node MCU is connected with the server. So I hope this is clear with you. Now let us hope that these two devices are connected using IP address. Now we have a system on which we will be coding or writing the codes. So now we want to do something like that, that whatever connection, whatever things we just send through the uh, laptop or the de uh, desktop, whatever we have through the IP address, it should be directly connected to the node MCU. It should be directly connected to the node MCU. So for that, first we need to connect the laptop with the smartphone or the server. So we will just connect to the same hotspot that is created by the smartphone with the laptop. Once this is connect created, then we have the access to just send data through the server to the node MCU. So similarly, it is applicable to n number of devices. If n number of devices are connected with the same server, then all the devices can send or receive data with each other. So this is what a server does. Now, if we are doing something like this, that the laptop is connected to some other hotspot and the phone. So when we connect with the uh, laptop with this server and n number of devices with server, all the devices can share their data with the node MCU. So this is what a server all about. So now, Everything is done with the IP address. So now let us write the code to create a server. So now this is the code of web server. So first of all, as it is, we will include the library over here. Right over here, we'll include the library. Here is the thing. We create a Wi-Fi server data type and over there the variable is server. And this is the port number. It is usually the same for every device, which is 80. So now we'll go to the setup part. We'll write begin, serial.begin, 9600, board rate. We will do the Wi-Fi connection part, which is similar till here. At last, when the connect Wi-Fi is connected, we'll get the device connected. We'll find the local IP over here. After getting the local IP, We'll begin this server. What we created over here is the variable. And now we are beginning the server. So now how we'll do everything with the server. So here we come to the loop part. We go Wi-Fi client, client equals to server dot available. We explained what is a client all about. So we are creating a client and now server dot available means if the server is created, then it is client is true. Once the client says something, now once the client says something, we'll find this statement to be true, true, and will come out of this, and 
will just find if the client has something in it. So to create uh, after we are using the IP address, once we are using the IP address where we write the URL in the browser, that is a Chrome, we write our IP address over there and press enter. This statement becomes true and we comes out over here and we execute these all lines. So what these all lines all about? These are simple HTML lines. Over here we use HTTP protocol. 200 means the server line is working. That means the website is working and it provides okay. This statement should not differ either in uh, way of writing or in spacing anything. It should be as it is or else it won't work. We have the content type text or slash HTML. These two statements will be same. These two times are same. And now we have client.println this part over here. We write the HTML code. We start up with the HTML to start up with the HTML. We like to this line and to end we write this line. In between, we write all the lines what we require in HTML that is to be shown in the uh, particular website. So you need not uh, worry if you don't know HTML. These lines are whatever we write over here, whatever we print, we print with client.println because we are printing directly on the client. So this is why we write this and this are the HTML code. So P stands for paragraph in HTML. This is to start the paragraph and this is to end the paragraph. The slash over here will just end the paragraph. So now whatever write we in between, for example, hello, welcome to TechCat. So hello, welcome to TechCat. We'll print it once we execute the code. So we end up, we end up the HTML with this and we give it small delay for smooth functioning of our code. So now we upload this code to our board. Before that, we will check tools, port is selected, upload speed, and what is the board all about. Once you check this, you put the upload button and then it's done uploading. We move on to serial monitor and we check what is all happening. So here we got connected with our smartphone, the server that we created and we'll copy this. We'll copy this statement control C for copy use control C and then we'll move to the browser. Move to the, we'll move to the browser and then we'll just paste the IP address that we got from there and we press enter. Once we press enter, it's the server created and it says, hello, welcome to TechCat. So you just got to understand everything bit by bit that over here, Whatever we write, it should be very clean, especially till here, it should be the same. And over here, it should be the same. Whatever changes we need to do, we need to <clears throat> whatever changes we need to do, we need to change just over here. So whatever changes we do over here, it will be just printed in the browser and we'll get it. So in the next video, we'll just find how to control an LED with a website or with a web server or else we can say it as a local server. Hope you understand every bit to bit. If you have any doubt, you just put in the discussion section of the uh, particular description beside description. Thank you for this video. We'll meet in the next video.